Hi and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Muhammad Kubai. In this video, we are going to discuss about Microsoft Defender Antivirus for Azure Virtual Desktop. So the scope is particularly for the multi-session operating system. Let's see how to configure Microsoft Defender Antivirus for uh, VDAs using Microsoft Intune. If you like this video, please subscribe and hit the bell icon for the future updates. If you want to learn more about Citrix, Azure or AWS technologies, you can check out my bestseller Udemy course, which is also available in Udemy for business. So before we jump into Microsoft Defender antivirus policies through Intune, first we need to make sure some of the prerequisites. So we need to have a Azure virtual desktop host pool with the virtual machine or session host, which is joined to Microsoft Intune. So in this example, as you can see, I have a host pool, which is VDA HP. Under that, I have one virtual machine, so which is AVD MD-0. So this is already Intune uh, onboarded. So if I go to my Intune portal, so if I select devices and then windows, so you can see here that my AVD MD device is already enrolled to Intune. So you need to make sure that before you create any antivirus policies, we need to have a devices onboarded to Intune. Then only we can assign the policy to the devices. So if you wanted to know how to onboard devices to the Intune, you can check out my YouTube videos where I demonstrated using group policies. You can do the onboarding or also you can use uh, co-management through SSCM. Also, you can use the Microsoft Azure portal uh, when you are creating a Azure AD joined uh, Azure virtual machines. So let's see how we can configure Microsoft Defender antivirus policy. So I'm here in the Intune portal. So here you can see a tab called Endpoint Security. So if you go to this particular blade, so you will see one option called Antivirus. So here you need to create a policy for the antivirus. So I'll click on Create Policy. So here under Platform, so you need to select Windows 10, Windows 11 or Windows Server. So this applies to Windows 10 multi-session or Windows 11 multi-session as well. And then we need to select the profile. So here we are going to select the third one, which is Microsoft Defender Antivirus. So let's click on create. And here we need to enter the name. So I'm going to name it as AV policy and I'll click on next. So here we need to select the settings, which is relevant to our antivirus. So we need to expand this Defender. So here we will have a number of settings according to your requirement. You have to select the right one. So in this demo, I'm going to enable only the essential settings. Uh, however, when it comes to your production environment, so you need to check the each and every options. So if you want any help, you can go to the Microsoft portal. So here they have a beautiful article, which is explaining all the settings related to Microsoft Defender. So this is the article, which is a policy CSP hyphen defender. So here you'll see explanation for each and every settings, which is mentioned in the Intune portal. For example, let's say the first setting, which is allow archive scanning. So if you go to the article, so here you will have allow archive scanning. So you will get a complete explanation what it is related to. So this policy is allows you to configure scans for malicious software and unwanted software in archive files such as .zip or .cab files. So let's say if you have a requirement to scan each and everything, including your archives, uh, then you need to enable this. So similarly, it goes to other settings such as allow behavioral monitoring, cloud production, email scanning, etc, etc. So as I mentioned, we will only configure the essential one. However, you need to carefully evaluate each and every settings as per your requirement. So here I'm going to enable real time monitoring. So I'm going to select allowed, turn on and run this real time monitoring service. And then I'm going to select enable network production. So I'm selecting a block mode. And then I'm going to enable PUA production, which is a potentially unwanted application. So I'm going to uh, turn on this option, which is PUA protection on. So detected items are blocked and they will show in the history along with the other threads. So this is required. And then make sure you enable real time scan direction. So I'm going to select monitor all files. So scan parameters, I'm going to set to full scan over here. 
and then we need to select schedule quick scan time so we need to enable this option and then we need to mention at what time you need the quick scan time so 120 means it is 2 am so if i select 60 it means 1 am so according to your requirement you can select which timing you want so in this example i am going to choose 0 0 means 12 uh, am which is a midnight so if you select 60 it will be 1 o'clock if you select 120 it will be 2 o'clock so it is the multiple of 60 so this is how you need to set the time so it is always recommended uh, you set the time which is non-business hours for example let's say if your business is starting at 9 am so do not set anything uh, in between uh, 9 to 6 always it is preferred to set the scan time post business hours so in this example i'm setting 12 am which is zero so schedule scan day so this is the full scan on which day you wanted to set the full scan so i'm going to select thursday here so again it is totally depends on your requirement so the basically uh, the full scan will happen once a week however the quick scan will happen daily and then we need to select the schedule scan time so this is for the full scan so i'm going to select 180 so 180 means it is 3 am in the morning so every thursday 3 am in the morning i will have full scan and daily at 12 am i will have a quick scan and then we need to enable signature update file shared source so this is the place where we are going to keep the antivirus signature so this is my file share for example so under this file share i am going to keep the signature files so let's imagine if you do not configure this option by default microsoft uh, uh, defender will pull it from the microsoft cloud so however it is always recommended you configure this share part so that uh, the network traffic will get reduced otherwise let's say if you have 10,000 clients so each time uh, it will pull the signature updates from the cloud some sometime it may create a network traffic or latency however the best idea download the uh, signature files to your file share and then you can point this file share over here so every time microsoft defender will look into this path and it will get the signatures and then we need to enable signature update interval so this is nothing but uh, for example if the value is 8 means at each at every 8 hours microsoft defender will check for the signature updates so in this demo i'm going to set it to 6 so it means at every 6 hours microsoft defender will check the uh, path for this path for any signatures for any new signatures and then we have uh, allow on access protection so make sure you enable this and here you need to select uh, what type of remediation action you need uh, uh, if you have a severe threat or moderate severity or low severity high severity so according to your requirement you can set in this demo i'm going to select quarantine move all files to quarantine so i'm going to set the same setting for all however this is you however this is as per your requirement you need to discuss with your security team and you need to enable accordingly and then we have uh, exclusions for example let's say uh, you wanted to exclude some files or folders or process or service uh, from the scanning then you need to configure the exclusion over here so for example let's imagine if you wanted to exclude some path so you need to enable this and then you need to enter the path over here so for example if you wanted to exclude a path called c example so you just need to enter in this format however if you have multiple folders to exclude then you need to enter a pipe here and then you can enter the folder path so same goes to excluded process as well so this is the option to exclude the process for example let's say if you wanted to uh, exclude some process for example example.exes or fslogics.exe etc then you need to follow the same procedure so here also you need to enter the, the pipe symbol in order to segregate multiple process so in this example you can see i excluded example.exe and then example1.exes so these exclusions are very important for example when it comes to azure virtual desktop you need to exclude all the fslogics process as well as your storage locations etc so make sure that you configure the same over here so that it will be excluded so once you configure all these things then you need to click next and then 
you need to click next again because I'm not uh, adding any scope here. So this is where you need to enter the details of your uh, device group. So we will assign the device group later. For now, I'm just going to click next and then I will click on create. So now we have created a antivirus policy and we did not uh, assign this policy to any device group. So we will do it later. So before we apply this policy to any device or device group, let's say the default uh, settings which is available in our Windows 11 or Windows 10 uh, VDA or session host. So if I go to my Azure virtual uh, blade, so here you can see I have one VM. So this is my VDA. So if I go to my Intune portal here, so uh, under Windows, I should be able to see the same VM over here as well because I have onboarded that VM to the Intune. So if you wanted to know how to onboard the VM or VDAs to the Intune, you can check out my previous YouTube videos where I have demonstrated. You can use GPOs or you can use uh, SCM co-management or you can use the Azure portal itself when you are creating a virtual machine so that automatically the VDAs or your session host will get onboarded to Intune. So in our example, we have already one virtual machine over here, which is onboarded to Intune. So I'm going to do a remote to this virtual machine. So let's go here. So as you can see, this is my virtual machines. So I'm going to the settings of that virtual machine and under that accounts, and then we need to go to the access and work. So here you will see connected to Azure AD. So if you select this particular tab, so you'll get an option called info. So here you will get all the details related to Intune. So as you can see, uh, it is now connected to the Intune. So as of now, there is no policy applied. So as you can see, there is no policy applied over here. If any policy is applied, then it will display over here. So if you wanted to sync your VM or your session host with Intune, you can click on this sync button. So automatically it will get synced and it will get all the latest settings from the Intune. So now we need to check what are the default settings related to Microsoft Defender Antivirus available in Windows 10 or Windows 11. So in order to check that, we need to go to the PowerShell and open with the run as administrator. And we need to enter the command, which is get MP preference. So this will provide all the default settings which comes with operating system for Microsoft Defender for Microsoft Defender antivirus. So if you see here, there are many settings which is in a false state. For example, let's say a real time monitoring. So as you can see, disabled real time monitoring, which is a uh, false. And uh, similarly, there are a number of other settings which is basically uh, in a false state. So now we need to apply the policy which is we configured on Intune and then we can. So similarly, if you go to the exclusion path, there is nothing over here as well as exclusion process or if you see network protection, reputation mode or some other settings related to antivirus signature. So similarly, when it comes to the signature schedule time or signature update interval, so all these things are uh, uh, comes with the default value. However, uh, we need to change this as per our requirement. That is how, uh, that is why we created our Intune policy. So as of now, you can see these are all default uh, settings comes with the operating system. So in order to modify this, either we can use Intune, which we configured, uh, or we can use uh, group policies as well. So let's go back to our Intune portal and we'll assign this policy to this particular computer or uh, device group. So in the Intune portal, if you go to the groups tab over here, so we'll have a group for the computers. So in this lab, I already created a group and I already defined uh, the parameters uh, for the group. So if I go to the group, and if I see dynamic membership rules, so I have created a rule saying that any VM uh, display name starts with AVDMD should be part of this group. So if you wanted to know how to create a group from the scratch, you can refer to my earlier YouTube videos uh, for the Intune enrollment. So once you define this rule, automatically all the computers, which is uh, automatically all the computer which are starting from the name called AVDMD will be a part of this group. So if I go to my members, so as you can see, AVDMD is 
already part of this group why because the name starts with avd md so now we need to apply a policy which is our defender av policy to this azure vda group so i'll go back to my uh, policy so which is uh, endpoint security and then i'll select antivirus and then i'll select the policy which i created which is av policy under that we need to assign this policy so we i'll come to the assignment part i'll go to edit and then i will select the device group so which is add all device add all user add all group so out of these three we need to select add group so here i'm going to select my group which is azure vda so once i select then i need to click on review and save so now the policy which we created for our antivirus will get applied to this particular group so all the vms or all the session host under that particular device group will get the policy let's see the status now so this is my uh, vda or session host so i'm going inside this vda and i'll go to the device uh, configuration so as you can see now av policy the state is succeeded so if i open this it will show all the settings we have configured uh, in the av policy such as uh, real time monitoring or uh, allow one access protection exclusions scan time etc etc so everything uh, uh, is succeeded now so let's go back to the uh, device so i have already remoted the device so this is my device so i'll go to the settings and then i'll go to the account so under account we can go to our uh, access work or school so here we will have the details about our uh, intune management under info so as you can see now the areas managed by kubeb it means area managed by the intune so as you can see here the defender policy so now defender policies gets applied through intune so all your defender now configured and managed with the intune so this is how uh, you can see uh, what are the policies coming from intune so if you wanted to do forcing you can click on forcing in order to get the policy refresh or uh, any new settings you configured so let's go to the powershell so i'm going to run the command to check the configurations we have set so which is get hyphen mp preference so as you can see now all the settings uh, which got overwritten by intune policy earlier we had some uh, default value so now we have overwritten all those default values so with the intune settings so if you see the network uh, protection the value is one earlier it was zero so similarly if you see the exclusion path as you can see we have excluded a path which is c example and also the process which is a c example dot exe similarly if you scroll down we have the uh, other settings such as our scan time etc as you can see here the scan schedule time we set to 12 o'clock and then we have a scan schedule time which is uh, at uh, three o'clock in the night and then we have the signature uh, path which is uh, d backslash share so this is the share where we are keeping our av signatures so similarly we have signature update interval which we set to six and uh, yeah that's it so this is how you can configure uh, microsoft defender antivirus policies uh, so that you can configure and manage all these settings uh, centrally from the intune i hope this video is useful so if you like this video please share and hit the bell icon and also you can check out my udemy channel for further learning